of the galaxy, the Milky Way, where we live. Apparently there are 100 billion planets here. 100 billion, as someone once said. And we got Lee Holtz here to explain it all to us. <laughs> that's a lot. That is a lot. In fact, that's at least one planet around every star in the Milky Way. That may be 100 billion, that may be 200 billion, 400 billion. The actual sort of census of stars in the Milky Way is a little fuzzy, if you like. It's hard to count them all. But the point here is this is the most comprehensive effort yet to do a systematic statistical census of how many planets are really out there. I mean, we've been in an avalanche of new data in recent years about these so-called exoplanets, which is what we call planets around alien suns. I mean, a few years ago, we didn't think there were any. And now there are thousands that have actually been detected or studied. And they've gotten to a stage now where they're really just trying to figure out, well, what, what does the cosmos uh, really hold in terms of planetary systems. And what they, what they have found, this is a, a large international group uh, headquartered in uh, the Institute for Astrophysics in Paris. About 42 scientists spent six years uh, surveying 100 million stars at the heart of the Milky Way. It's a kind of representative uh, sampling. And uh, this is what they came up with. And what's even more interesting is that many millions of these planetary systems may in fact be uh, planets that revolve around two suns, like the planet Tatooine right. in Star Wars. And um, you know what this is starting to give us a sense of is that the We've always thought that our own solar system was kind of the standard model. I mean, this is what it looked like. You had rocky planets uh, at a nice little row in near the sun, nice, warm, toasty, hospitable, <laughs> liquid water. And then as you got into the exurbs, uh, things got uh, bigger, colder, mm. more gassy, Jupiter, Neptune, Saturn, planets like that. Well, what this is starting to tell us is, well, maybe that's wrong. Maybe the really weird solar system is in ours. this galaxy is our home system. But yeah. if in our own galaxy, Lee, there are 100 billion planets, or quite likely more, if we add up the planets in other galaxies, and then we do the obvious mental leap of, well, are there other living organisms on those planets? The answer has to be yes. Well, I mean, the statistical possibilities almost become, they become near infinite. And in that, in that context, then you have to say, well, something's out there. Would it be a life form that resembles the uh, kind of carbon chemistry that we depend on? Maybe not. Would it be something that we might even be able to recognize as a life right, form? Might it be so weird, you know? And, and there are astrobiologists at NASA who, who ponder that and say, you know, when we c come across life uh, elsewhere in the universe, we not we may not be able to recognize it for what it is. Right. Well, it also seems that if we're close to finding life uh, under the surface of Mars, for instance, right, that's, that's a selection size of one, right? Now, it's obviously very close to us, but still, the hundreds of billions of possibilities suggest to me that statistically there has to be some sort of, some form well, of Well, I mean, yeah. as a statistical yeah. matter, you're absolutely correct. I feel obliged to say we're not close to finding life <laughs> under the surface of Mars. Um, it, would be, it would be interesting, it would be right. nice. Um, that's within our delivery zone, you know, we could up our <laughs> subscription rate. <laughs> <laughs> so you said at, at least 100 billion planets out, out there, but you also said it could be 200, 300. The margin of error on this is, is pretty big. This isn't like a <laughs> Zogby poll or something ah. like that, is it? This isn't like a poll they've gone out and says the margin of error is 2% either way. This is a margin of error is enormous. Well, no, no, let me be clear here. The, the, the numbers there that I was throwing out was just the number of stars in the Milky Way. I mean, nobody's ever counted them all. So we, okay. just, we just don't know. That's where the fudge factor is. Oh, right, okay. Um, these uh, census that they've uh, uh, made public today, um, the American Astronomical Society is meeting in Austin, Texas, and that's how this uh, kind of thing is coming out today at a, at a quite uh, alarming rate. In fact, I went to lunch and I came back. They had announced three new exoplanets just while my back was turned, the three <laughs> smallest that they've found so far, about the size of Mars. You, you just turned around and, and they just said, oh, yeah, we've we yes, spotted right. three. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah.